environment and uh, this actually opens within Quartz Composers. So you're going to have the two applications running consecutively. Um, you literally install, so you start to turn on IBBA from within QC. And you can then have everything running. So if I try and relax my mind a little bit, and then maybe do a visualization. Yeah, okay. So let's do one more minute of you kind of more engaged to So really try, okay, we want to get a, a real different before and after. So that's it, you're making the beta happen now. Concentrate more at the screen. Think about rushing around on the tube and doing like things which are kind of faster. And when you do this visualization, will you be shutting your eyes to do that and you'll just try and take yourself into the DJ pose? That's better. Yeah. So yeah, that's So if I try and think about doing a specific business. So if you're happy, that's why it's fine. <laughs> I was thinking about the bell <laughs> Um Yeah, no, I think it might be easier to, to watch my fingering on his violin than we have the, on the proper experiment. Mm -hmm. We'll have three or four different people in the room who all do different things. So a scratch DJ, violinist, a beatboxer, um, and we'll try and go through a load of different stuff for them on their instruments. Okay. Um, Mike? Yeah. Pause and uh, switch over. And you're back in the room. Okay, that's just the sit and put that down. So again, if you can sort of like really concentrate so your efforts into the screen, to see if uh, this engages you in one way. So really sort of staring into whatever these things look like. And then after about a minute, you start playing. We should see all the change. See some sort of beta waves around here. So. In fact, both hemispheres are quite similar. That little pocket of beats and gamma that occur at the same time. And there are lots of different ways of looking at the same data. This is just a very descriptive, sculptural way, really, rather than spectral. I've got normal displays, and you can just have it as <laughs> streams of data that are. At a glance, both hemispheres are quite similar. A light stream of beta, slightly more so on the right. So uh, I think this would be a good place for you to start playing. Absolutely. Remember, it's only if your eyes move suddenly when you see a really high spike. If you see that, you'll know it's your your face or your eyes. If it's not that kind of movement, it's more that you scrunch your eyes. As soon as he's picked it up, look at that. Hang on, just, just hold it there. As soon as he actually picks up your instrument, a lot of the other uh, brainwaves stop and the beta's concentrating already. Look at that, it's actually boosting the beta by just assuming the position. <laughs> You're a professional, aren't position. you? <laughs> This one has got a. An what happens when you of when you do the actions of the Boeing as well? Uh, I'm going to take a picture as well because I must say I've never uh, <laughs> had a street cafe demonstration.
really flattened out. Yeah, it? now it's not at all so uh, dominant on the left, although there's actually there's more beta on the right. Just from this distance, that's what I can clearly see as a signature more. The right's becoming more in train, right hemisphere, more spatial, more yeah. supposed yeah. to be more creative anyway. But depending on how you're doing it, so now he's getting more sort of intimate with the instrument, that's changing it again. Hmm. Are <laughs> <laughs> you out of tune there, man? I no, I just like to try and do something different. Something you've, you haven't learned before? Oh, it looks something different. It's really boosting the signal on the left now. London. What if you think about one of the tracks that you've produced, like being in love or something, kind of just play through that and maybe think about the words or the, the way the beat goes or anything. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 